How's it going, everybody? Throwing up an impressions video here today of Kirby and the Rainbow Curse for the Wii U. <clears throat> My girlfriend bought this uh, last week. <clears throat> she was uh, wanting another game, and I said, you know, this one looks decent, and the reviews are pretty good. A few websites kind of shit on it. <clears throat> so, you know, it was 40 bucks, which is a good price in my opinion, because uh, I'm digging this game. It's, it's funny, she's the one who controls, uh, she's, she plays as Kirby, and you have to, I've, I've used them a few times, but you have to, you know, use the stylus on the touch screen. So if you're playing as Kirby, you have to look at the screen, the touch screen, you know, the, the gamepad screen, and use the stylus to draw the rainbows, and he follows the path, and you, like, tap, and he goes a little faster, and he can do an attack. I play second player using the Wii Remote and uh, you use a Waddle Dee. <clears throat> He's got a little spear so I can attack stuff with him. I can pick Kirby up. And he has like a f four jumps. But other than that, you gotta be jumping on the rainbows if you're on levels that have like a bottomless pit. <laughs> you know, those levels in uh, these games. It has a really unique look. It's all like clay. I think like the beginning, Kirby loses his ability to like walk or whatever so he can only roll forward. <laughs> Yeah, there's something. <clears throat> this little character here, I, don't, I can't remember her name. Her sister, I think, is the one who, like, did this to the world or whatever. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, you could, it, it's cool, you know. It, 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 someone in a review said the, the, you know, the rainbow, using the rainbow to draw it is the best and worst thing about the game, which is a kind of, I can kind of agree with. You know, you could use the thing to block. You know, and when you fight bosses or whatever, and if there were anything that's throwing projectiles, you can put a circle around it to block it. You know, you can kind of stop yourself from going off ledges, and you can go further up things by using it. <clears throat> and uh, it's cool, but sometimes, like, especially the Waddle Dee can't jump up. Uh, no, he can jump up to them, but he can't get through them. So if I'm trying to get, like, a treasure chest, because there's, like, you know, five chests or sometimes four uh, per level that you get, you can get little figurines and music. <clears throat> From I'm trying to grab something or kill an enemy and I can't get through the rainbow because in a way I gotta wait for it to go away. I know if you like make a second one, the previous one will go away or whatever faster. <clears throat> but uh, you can turn into like a tank, Kirby, in some levels you're a tank or a submarine or a rocket. <clears throat> uh, where there's I think there's seven worlds. We're on world five, which get a little tougher. Overall, it's, it's fairly easy, but it has gotten a little tougher over the last two worlds. Worlds are pretty unique. <clears throat> they already recycled the boss. Throughout the two, the first boss became the boss of the... Oh, maybe we're on the sixth. I think we're actually on the sixth world. We just got past the fifth. Because the fifth is like a tree. You fight a tree, and this time the tree is just kind of silver, but he does pretty much a similar thing. Slightly different patterns. <clears throat> That's a little annoying, but, you know, I mean, this game's not too frustrating. Like I said, I've only used Kirby a few times. She's better at using him, honestly, than I am. You know, I used him as a tank once, and I used him as a submarine to get, a submarine to get past one level. But I don't mind using the Waddle Dee, it's still fun. <clears throat> you know, you can pick, like I say, pick up, pick, pick up Ch uh, Kirby and chuck him, or, or jab him with my spear and little snores come out. Every time you collect 100 stars, you get like a boost power where you can, you know, you charge up the button or whatever. And you, uh, Kirby shoots back and forth, and I think Waddle Dee just kind of goes forward. <clears throat> Waddle Dee actually has the cannon as well. <clears throat> he, uh, the Waddle Dee has a cannon, you know, when he turns, the Kirby turns into a tank. Waddle Dee has a little cannon you can shoot with, too. He turns into a submarine as well, actually. <clears throat> Those levels are kind of cool. There's like little puzzles where like you have to guide a ball into a, 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 button, a switch with the rainbow and stuff. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> There's a few other puzzles as well that, you know, unlock little uh, doors and stuff. you got to roll, you know, roll them up to hit the switches and stuff like that. <clears throat> There's cool stuff in there. Like I said the level's pretty varied. It looks cool. It's got a unique look with the clay stuff. You can use Amiibos on here, I don't have any, but looks like he used uh, King Day to Day, Kirby, and uh, I think that's Meta Knight. I don't, this is like the first Kirby game I've actually played. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it was those characters' names. Obviously Kirby is Kirby, but the other two guys, I'm pretty sure that's their names. But yeah, it's fun. I mean, you kind of lose a little bit by, you know, if you're playing with Kirby and looking at the screen. Because the graphics look good on the gamepad, but they look much better, in my opinion, on the uh, TV. So when I'm using the Waddle Dee, I can uh, do that. Yeah, tap and dash, draw and roll. Yeah, you can collect items like stars. You can, you know, you could draw a little freaking spinning, you know, spin it up in like a coil and get up there <clears throat> to get stars. There's, like I said, there's collectibles. 
there's chests that you get throughout the level, and you can get like gold, silver, and bronze, depending on how many stars you get in the level. <clears throat> and there's a, at the end of the level, there's like a spinning thing, and it has like three up, one up, a uh, journal uh, page, a diary page that's written by the girl, a little fairy, whatever that is. I don't know, I can't remember her name. <laughs> But uh, she has like you know little diaries you can get. It's kind of cool actually. It's kind of a little cool thing. This game's got a lot of charm to it. And you know there's things that are cute like when you go underwater, water, Kirby in the wild, they have the little freaking ma uh, you know scuba masks on and stuff. <clears throat> but she's giving Kirby like the power to transform and form into things. <clears throat> and they, that's cool. You know you can go through her diary and whatever. But like to get the diary is actually easy. It's harder to get that stuff with Kirby at the end of the level because you got a rainbow into it. But with the Waddle Dee, you just stand there and jump at it. Although it does speed up on the later uh, worlds, it, it has started to speed up. <clears throat> but it's cool. The figurines are pretty cool and stuff. The music's actually really good in this game. There's a couple of ones I've listened to on YouTube uh, pretty consistently. <clears throat> I like the game. It's another no manual on there. <clears throat> I'll admit, I was getting a little down on the Wii U. You know, I don't have many games still coming out, but... I mean, like I said, I have like 12, 13 games now. We're getting Pikmin 3 soon. <clears throat> but, it, you know, after getting this and Donkey Kong, I've, I've enjoyed it again. I still enjoy it, but it, it, there's not a lot of games, but I'm, I'm starting to get that, you know, groove back or whatever with the system that I lost briefly. Cool game though. Check this out if you haven't. You know, at first I was kind of like, I don't know. I was watching gameplay on it and stuff, but she uses the Kirby, so it's a little easier for me using the Waddle Dee. I can still enjoy the game, not not as much. But like I said, I've used them a few times, and I'm I'm decent using them, but she's better at using Kirby than I am. <clears throat> it's fun. There's a cool level when you're a rocket. You gotta like draw a path on the touch screen and then go through it to get out before the thing blows up or whatever. <clears throat> like I said, it's a cute game. The enemies are decent. The bosses are good besides the one I repeated. There was, that was like a tree one. And there was an octopus type guy underwater. There's an underwater world. And the sky world and the forest world. <clears throat> can't remember that. It's like a desert area as well. They all, like I said, they all look good. The graphics are cool. It's, 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 it's definitely got a cool look to it. A lot of the Wii U games, the first party Nintendo ones, have cool looks to them. But a very enjoyable game. Just to check it out. The gameplay is fun. It takes a little while to get used to controlling Kirby. But once you get it down pat, like she, my girlfriend has, you can do it pretty pretty well. There's still some hiccups. Like I said, the rainbow will get in your way. I'm pretty decent at it, and I haven't used him that much. I'm decent enough. But using the Waddle Dee is fun. You can play with like four players. I think you have three Waddle Dees. I'm pretty sure they're called Waddle Dees. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, it's cool. It, it, I don't know how long it is. I mean, we haven't even had it a week, and I think there's seven levels. There's three levels per. Uh, there's three like levels in a boss level, so you got four if you complete the boss level per, per world. I don't know how long we've been playing it, but you know, I kind of want to stretch it out a little longer. But we'll have Pikmin three, so that's because there's a couple different ways to play, I guess. <clears throat> But yeah, check this out if you haven't, if you have a Wii U. It's cool and it's only 40 bucks. I think it's worth 40 for sure. I guess it may frustrate people if you can't really get the rainbow down pat. It may get annoying. I could see that. <clears throat> but once you get used to it, it's cool, like I said. I mean, he doesn't, like, I guess, you know, he doesn't suck things in in this game like he normally does in his game where he steals people's powers if you suck them into you. But, you know, some people didn't like that. I don't really mind. Like I said, I don't, I, this is really the, only, the first Kirby game I actually play a lot of, so... It doesn't bother me. I guess that would bother some people if you're used to a certain style of play. I mean, check it out. You know, I, I like it. You know, she likes it as well. <clears throat> Definitely check this one out. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Uh, thanks everybody for checking it out. Have a good day.